back guys to another episode of Jake's Offshore Adventures. Today we are going out spear fishing with my good buddy Michael and his girlfriend to see what we can uh, land on today. So the current wasn't too bad today so we dropped real close to the wreck so we could do our breathe up and uh, get some warm up dives going. I kind of like it when the current isn't so much on these wrecks when we're trying to dive on them. Um, one reason being they usually have these lines attached to the wreck so it's really nice to dive next to them so you stay nice and straight on your way down. Alright so it's my turn to do a nice little warm up dive. So I do my duck dive and uh, actually sometimes I'll use the rope on the wreck to help pull myself down and save energy from kicking. Um, especially on the warm up dives I kind of get my lungs stretched out and uh, get ready for a day of good diving. Mm -mm -mm. So the visibility wasn't that great um, down on the wreck, but it was good enough to shoot some fish, but unfortunately we didn't really see too much light going on down there on the wreck. So here's Michael, he's getting ready for his dive, um, he's doing a nice breathe up here. And on this dive, you'll see he runs into some unexpected guests down there. And uh, you guys will just have to keep watching to see what he sees. pointed a little too far down but as you guys just saw he just uh, smoked a nice AP so um, this is actually his first one so he's coming up pretty excited I can tell from looking at him at, at my view that he has uh, got something big on the line. AP on. Oh the sharks have been bad. Oh the sharks have been bad. So Mike said he had an AP on and I was Tell him right away that the shark's been bad and to pull on that thing as hard as you can. Right now is uh, critical to get it to the surface so that way um, there's less time for sharks to show up and uh, if he gets it close to the surface I can dive down and try to put a second shot on it to secure this fish. So the fish is at like 40, 35 feet so I decide I'm going to take my dive as he keeps pulling on this thing and uh, go down and put a second shot in to secure his first after popping him. Mike's pretty pumped right now. Uh, first African Pompano. Definitely a really hard fish to land. You know, first couple times seeing it in the water, it's always such a shock. So to be able to put a, a shaft in one is uh, such a great feeling. So, congratulations, Mike. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys, dude. Let's uh, take some underwater videos with it. They've been around. Yeah. They come right up to the grunts, huh? Yeah. I went down and grunted them in for you. Sure. Yeah. There we go. Nicely done. There's a first. Is it that you never threw it after you're popping them? Yeah, I've seen them twice. That's your first one? Yeah. Nice work, dude. Congrats. Yeah, I've seen them. On the Spiegel. The only time I've seen him in the water. Both times working. Dude, nice man. Congrats. I'm glad you got it. Yeah, I saw there's that big school of uh, are they cigar minnows or speedos that was going around. They passed. I saw the school of um, there's a horse eye that was chasing them, so I dropped down after that. There's nothing around. And the school just comes straight in. Yep, yeah, that's how it always works. Beautiful fish, buddy. Thank you. Good for her. Good. Nice, done. nice work, dude. All right, let's get back on him. So after uh, doing a couple more drifts on the wreck, we kind of got a little tired doing a lot of deep dives in a row. So uh, coming up on the end of lobster season, we decided to hop in a couple of shallow spots. This so we started seeing a few smaller lobsters and uh, we came upon a few that were kind of close so we decided to catch them and measure them um, unfortunately they weren't legal size so we uh, had to let them go Once you uh, tickle the lobster out from where he's hiding from, you can fit that snare around his tail and pull really tight and uh, you'll uh, catch that lobster. Unfortunately this lobster wasn't legal either, um, they kept getting a little bit bigger but um, this one is still another cookie cutter size. cookie cutter huh yes, so I work my way down the reef and I make a dive and I didn't know my GoPro was on but I found this really big lobster deep inside this hole um, and I thought I had my camera off so I went and turned it off right here and uh, after I caught the lobster I went to go turn the camera off and I ended up turning it back on so this is a, actually all I get to show you this lobster right here that's a legal one <laughs> Oh my god! That's a monster for the keys. Oh my god! Look at that thing!
but this is something uh, you'd see in the Bahamas here. saw him and uh, he was pretty big from the surface so I knew he was legal um, so we uh, ended up going back to the boat and uh, going to go to a new spot to go try to find one more for dinner. Well I got two really nice bugs. <laughs> There's my foot for reference. Second one out. And uh can you put it next to one of those mini coronas Oh man, I've lost that. <laughs> there's a normal size bug. And there's a behemoth. Beautiful. That's just what I wanted that day. Just a couple bugs for me. Yeah. We got another one. Lobsters kind of start to show back up. You know, a lot of people haven't been diving for them lately. It's the end of the season for them, so uh, it's a great time to get out. 